again. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about um, a rather clever feature of Reaper, and that is channel splitting. Now, I've never tried it in any other DAW, but I'm not aware of any other DAW that does a similar thing as what I'm going to show you. But on top of that, I want to talk to you about some really clever uh, JS plugins that we can make use of this uh, trick that we can do with Reaper and really use it to our best benefits. So let me open up my FX list here and I'll go through what I've got on here in a second. So what I'm going to do, I've got a kick drum here. I'm going to keep it fairly simple. I've got a three band splitter here. Okay, now as it says in the description, it splits into lows 1 and 2 output, mids 3 and 4, and highs 5 and 6. Now let me explain to you. Reaper, a track can be split into up to 64 different channels. Okay, so if we open up, as you see, I've opened up the I.O. section. As you see here, the track channels we can select up to 64 different track channels. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do for this example, we've got three stereo channels here. So that's six channels, basically. So what we'll do is I'll open this up to six. Okay. So now we've got six channels within our track. Okay. Now, what can happen here? Let's ignore the EQ and the compressor for the moment. Those will come in a bit later. But if we use the channel splitter, if I switch it on, what I can now do, well, in fact, let's just have a quick listen to this kick drum without anything on it, just as it sounds now. Okay. Now, if I switch on the channel splitter and press play, all you're now hearing is the, the low band. Because if I open up the the in out of the the actual uh, plugin, you'll see that channel one and two is going through the the open band, and it's only channel one and two that's coming out the other end. So therefore, we need to put in this mixer. Now, what this mixer does is it takes the level from one and two, from three and four, and from five and six, which is what we're using from this splitter plugin, as you can see here. And then if I press play now, we have the full signal again. Okay? So what's happening is, is this initial splitter is splitting the loads, lows, mids and highs into, channel, into channels 1 and 2, 3 and 4 and 5 and 6. And our mixer is then taking those channels and mixing them back and spitting them out into channel 1 and 2. Uh, sorry, yeah. Okay, it's sending it out to all six channels of this mixer, which is then getting sent to the master track. Okay, so what you can make use of there is, for example, if say I wanted to compress the low end, if I put the, the compressor in, if we go into the in out section of the compressor, I could have one and two coming in and going out to one and two. So I'm just compressing the low end. So if we press play, now if we go to the mixer, I can drop out the rest of it, and we can have a listen to what the the compressor is doing there. So we can compress that to how we want, and then bring in the other two parts of the signal. And we could put an EQ, for example, on the top end. So let's say we want up from 5 and 6, going out to 5 and 6. So if we just want to listen to that, and then we can EQ it, we can drop out any annoying frequencies, give it a bit of air on the top there. Drop out any lows from it. Take out a bit of mids. So if we listen without the EQ, with it, 
And then if we bring back in the rest of the signal. But well, you can also balance, you can take out some mids. Take down some highs, bring up some bottom end and some mids. You know? And also within our splitter, our crossover is from zero to 200 hertz is our initial frequency and then it goes from 200 to 2k and then from 2k and above so we can for example set this from up to say 1.2 to 3 so from 1200 to 3.8 is our middle frequency anything below 1200 is our lows and above 3.8 Five is our highs, so you can adjust the frequencies you want to play with, and then we can go in and you can mix those frequencies, drop out the highs, just some mids, bring up the lows, you know, really play around with it, and then obviously your compressor, you you can put that onto the mids as well, for example, so you can have three and four going through this and coming out on three and four and being also compressed. So, a really cool way to play around with a signal to get a, a kick, for example, that you really would like to, you, you maybe don't like the top end, but you like the bottom end, so you can balance it out and mix it using this technique. And then you bring it all back together using the mixer, and that ends up as a stereo signal at the end. So, a really, really cool um, tricks you can use using some very simple JS plugins once again uh, I hope that's useful um, I'm gonna have a look at, I was requested to have a, a look at uh, some of the MIDI plugins in, a, in one of my previous videos so this is my next thing that I'm gonna have a look at some of the, the MIDI JS plugins so yeah hope it's useful, hope it's helpful uh, please like, subscribe, you know, do all the usual um, Give me a shout, let me know what you think, and I'll speak to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.